CES 2018 was strange. There wasn't a standout gadget. Optimism here clashed with increased tech scrutiny outside about whether we should be quite so plugged in all the time. And then the power went out. But there were still some gems to be found that shine a light on where we may be headed and where tech's next frontier may be. If CES is a representation of the future, then the future is going to be adorable. Robots are everywhere here to help you with chores, keep you company, or just make you smile. Sony's Robodog Aibo was a big hit, even if it's only available in Japan. Robots fit into a broader trend of how internet-connected things are trying to go from being smart to being helpful. It's no longer enough that your coffee maker can talk to your light switch. They now need to be able to say something meaningful. The big tech companies don't usually make an appearance here, but Google showed up with its own booth, while Amazon continued its push with Alexa, introducing devices targeted into every room of the house. Yeah, even that one. Noticeably absent from the chatter? Apple, which normally casts a sizable shadow over the show. Its HomePod speaker is yet to hit the market, meaning Siri's been left out of the conversation for now. Bikes, cars, and helicopters all competed for our attention at the show as tech companies tapped into the shared hatred of traffic. Car companies showed up in force, as always. On a smaller level, clean e-bikes and foldable bikes found ways to help save space and the environment. Other companies had appealing prototypes to share, but were suspiciously quiet on when we'll actually see these products on sale. There are plenty of things shown at CES that never see the light of day, after all. Companies showed off lots of cool things, but there wasn't much to send you rushing to the store. At CES this year, there were many things that would be nice to have, but not much that you have to have.